You know, baby. Since my earliest days as a child, I remember being drawn to action movies. I must have watched every classic western and war movie with my dad. One of his favorites was Chuck Norris. In case you didn't already know, Chuck Norris is one of the toughest, most butt-kicking movie stars ever. Then I saw Bruce Lee beat up Chuck Norris and rip his chest hair off. I watched Bruce Lee movies after Saturday morning cartoons on double feature with some other English dubbed hero like Gordon Liu, Ming Fei, or Jimmy Wang Yu. The legendary Jackie Chan runs Golden Harvest, one of the two biggest movie companies in Hong Kong which has been the leading producer of martial arts movies in the world for decades. It is contrary to all that you have taught me. In my life I've been through many phases in the martial arts. I hold intermediate belt ranks in five Korean styles, two kinds of jujitsu, and a traditional Japanese karate called Sado Juku. I've also trained with MMA fighters and pro wrestlers. Currently, I'm training to become a certified Tang Sudo instructor and a black belt in Shaolin Kempo. You have offended my family, and you have offended the Shaolin Temple. As an 80s baby, I was right in the heat of the ninja movie craze, and I was a total ninja geek from the Shokazugi movies right on through to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Shokazugi introduced me to a new world of stealth, magic, and crazy weapons like ninja stars and blowguns. Now why doesn't somebody pull off 45 and bang, settle it? And the biggest star since Bruce Lee, John claude Van Damme. <laughs> the only international action star since Bruce Lee to break box office records in Hong Kong. Van Damme is a Shotokan karate black belt with many championships in full contact divisions. <laughs> now in his 50s, John claude continues to inspire me as he works tirelessly year after year with the desire to be a better role model for kids. My older son Justice is 6 and is already way beyond where I was at his age. He's been in karate less than a year and is already doing splits and breaking boards. Oh, don't hit back. My younger son Marshall is barely over one years old and just learned to walk, but he already loves nunchucks and swords. I think we might be looking at an ongoing legacy of people influenced by martial arts in film and in life when we work hard for the right reasons.